once again, our judges are hard at work here on the balance. The accountants are at work selecting the five semifinalists, or the five finalists from the 12 semifinalists. They have competed in evening gowns, they've competed in swimsuits, and our judges have handed in their ballots, but the accountants are still at work. Earl Wilson, would you just step right over here to me, please? I think that you've been a judge on this universe pageant just about as long as anyone, and uh, I'd like to talk with you a little bit about the judging procedure. Would you describe it for me, just in general? Uh, well, normally I think the reaction is uh, one of a great difficulty to judges, it seems like it's an easy job, but we're here about a week, actually, and we get very conscientious about it. And as we see the seriousness that the girls go into this with, then we realize how serious our job is. And tonight, a couple girls wept. Uh, was that obvious on the camera? I believe that when the uh, lettermen were out there singing to some of the girls, uh, you could see a few tears, yes. We don't actually cry ourselves, but uh, we... We do feel very serious about the job, Bob. We really do. Well, I know that you're very conscientious, and each one of you does your judging all by yourself, do you not? Oh, we don't communicate with anybody else about it, not even our wives <laughs> or husbands. And uh, you don't com uh, communicate with the other uh, judges? It's kind I mean. of a rule that we do not discuss uh, the choice at any time until after the contest. And just in general, because there are a lot of young ladies there at home who are thinking someday they'd like to be here on this stage with us, what are some of the... the uh, things that are most important in the judging? Well, of course, the girls have to be on her uh, good conduct, and they have to know something about language, and if they can communicate, particularly if they know a little more than one language, it's very helpful. We have to take that into consideration. Also, their carriage, and uh, their personality is very important. I'm asked uh, often in interviews, uh, how important is personality in poise? And uh, I think perhaps we could sum it up this way, that you narrow it down to, say, 10 or 15 beautiful girls. And then the girl with the most poise and the best personality of the really beautiful girls uh, is Miss Universe. Well, that's generally true. But there's another thing we must consider, and that is we must choose a girl who we think will be a good representative of the pageant, that she will uphold the traditions of the uh, Miss Universe and be a... Uh, a uh, let's say, an asset to it at all times. We, we always think of that, too. Well, it's really quite a responsibility because, of course, this girl travels all over the world. And uh, a year later, she's a completely different individual. We've seen that all the time. Well, I talked with just uh, tonight with Marisol Malaret. She spoke English uh, so much. She speaks it so much better now than she did two years ago. It's amazing. May I congratulate you on your Spanish? Well, thank you very much, Earl. <laughs> I appreciate that more than you'll ever know. All right, now, girls... I have just been handed the names of the five contestants from whom our four runners-up and Miss Universe will be selected. The first of the five finalists is Miss Australia. <laughs> Finalist number two is Miss England. Finalist is Miss Venezuela. And now Miss Israel. Israel is our fourth finalist. There is one more girl who has a chance to become Miss Universe, and that girl is Miss Brazil. Congratulations, finalists. to the final phase of tonight's judging. Our judges are going to hear each girl answer the same question and then they must make up their minds. Miss England, will you please stay right there? Will you four girls please step right over here into this soundproof booth? Into here, Miss Brazil. We do this so that they cannot hear the question or the answer until it's their turn. Now you, right into there. Miss England, will you step over here with me, please? Right up here. On my right, if you please, right here. That's the girl. Now, the judges are here, as you well know. 
The question I'd like to have you answer for them is this. If you could change and become any other person in the world, who would you want to become and why? Tell the judges. I know it's stupid, but um, my mother. <laughs> All right, why would you trade places with your mother? Because she's got far more patience than I have, and she's just got about every virtue I would like to have. Um, she's a wonderful person. If I could end up like her, I'd be very happy. Thank you very much, Miss England. Right back here. Now, let's have Miss Venezuela. Aki. And her translator, please. Earl, you complimented me on my Spanish, but this is serious business now. I'm going to have it translated for her. Would you please tell Miss Venezuela that I would like to have her tell the judges the answer to this. If you could change and become any other person in the world, who would you want to become and why? Él querría que tú le dijeras a los jueces si tú tuvieras la oportunidad de cambiar tu personalidad y volverte cualquier otra persona en el mundo, ¿qué persona volvería y por qué? Yo creo jueces. que yo sería la misma. O sea, no cambiaría mi personalidad. What did she say? She said that she thinks she would choose herself. She would not change her personality. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Miss Israel. Up here, please. Now, Miss Israel, would you please address your answer to the judges and tell me if you could change and become... If you could change and become any other person in the world. Who would you want to become and why? The only person that I want to become is only me, really. <laughs> I am, I may not love myself, but uh, I am myself. And so am I. I don't like to be no others, I'm sorry. All right, there you are. Miss Australia, right up here. Miss Israel and Miss Venezuela are happy. Now, Miss Australia, the question for the judges, if you could change and become any other person in the world, who would you want to become and why? I'm not a particular person, but I'd like to become someone who could dictate peace throughout the world and try and uh, put people in the right direction. Thank you, Miss Australia. Miss Brazil, her interpreter. The judges, now, would you please tell her that the question is, if you could change and become any other person in the world, who would you want to become and why? Se você pudesse trocar essa outra pessoa no mundo, quem você se trocaria e por quê? Eu não me trocaria por ninguém. Eu estou contente comigo mesma. She would not change to be anybody else. She's happy with herself. All right. Thank you very much. Would you step right up here? And judges. You have now heard our five finalists. The decision is in your hands. Yes, you've heard the five answers to Bob Barker's question, so that should help you to make your final choice. That's what the judges are doing right now, and we'll hear it soon. First of all, however, this message.